everybody, everybody, I'm back. Hey everybody, Jeannie Young is back and I'm back with yet another amazing recipe. Ramen is on the menu at the Young's house and I am so excited. I'm so excited to share with you all how I make a beautiful bowl of ramen. This recipe right here does not require a lot of ingredients. It's so easy to make and if you make a Jeannie Young style, it's gonna be so tasty. Here's what you'll need to make Jeannie Young style ramen noodle soup. You all never had my ramen noodle soup before. You better make yourself. Okay, everyone, here are the lovely ingredients you will need. I have some beautiful medium-sized shrimp that I have already seasoned, that I've seasoned with Mrs. Dash Original Seasoning Blend, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and a little bit of parsley. You can season your shrimp with whatever seasonings that you love. I have some portobello um, mushrooms, and make sure you, when you bring your mushrooms home that you take that extra time to wash off your mushrooms. You don't wanna put them under running water because they soak up water. What you'll do is you'll just damp uh, use a damp paper towel and just wipe them very well and get all the crevices. I have some Spam here. Spam is amazing in ramen noodle soup. I have some beautiful sofrito right here. We have some green onions and some amazing bok choy. Make sure when you bring all of your veggies home, you take the time to wash them off. Okay, right here I have three seasoning packets from these shrimp ramen noodles that we have right here. And then right here, I have three cups of ramen noodles. We're gonna use the three cups of ramen noodles because those are the specific noodles that I love. They always turn out perfect. They're never mushy. They come out the perfect texture every time. Okay, so right here I have some soy sauce. We have some beautiful fish sauce. And then we have some sesame oil. You want to be careful when you use this sesame oil. You only need just one. I'll, I'll, I'll show you in the video, but you only need just a little tiny drop, just maybe one to two drops, because a little bit of it goes a long way. Trust me when I tell you this. I have some beautiful chicken broth right here. You can use vegetable broth. You can use beef broth, whatever kind of broth that you have. Okay, that's all you're gonna need. Right here, I have a frying pan that I've put a little bit of canola oil in. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna get my shrimp into the pan just like so. We're gonna fry up a couple of things together in this same pan. The pan is so large, I can fry up my spam and my shrimp and mushrooms all together. I hope you all are having an amazing day today as well as a great weekend. Is anyone doing anything special for the weekend? Let me know in the comment section below. I love when you all tell me what you're doing for the weekend. It's so interesting to hear all of the different things that everyone's doing for their day off and their weekends. So I'm just gonna slice my mushrooms in this manner. Now feel free to use any type of mushroom that you love. That's how we're gonna slice that up and we're just gonna put it in our pan just like so, so we can get a nice, beautiful golden brown color onto our mushrooms. If you're that person that's really not a fan of mushrooms, then by all means, you don't have to use it. When I make these recipes, feel free to omit any ingredients that you're not a fan of. I want you all to make these recipes so that you can enjoy them as well. Okay, so I'm just going to finish slicing these mushrooms, and I don't need too much. I think this might be all that I use, and I'll take these mushrooms right here to put them in a nice salad. There's nothing like a beautiful salad with fresh mushrooms in it. Woo! Okay, so now we're going to take our Spam and see if we can get it out. Beautiful. And I want to cut our Spam into wedges. We want to get this nice and fried up. It's going to be beautiful and it's going to taste amazing as well. Just like so. We're going to have ourselves six nice pieces. 
just like this. And that little bit of oil in that pan is going to help to get everything nice and sauteed up. Let's get this on the stove so everything can start to brown, and I'll be right back. Now we want to go in and chop up our beautiful veggies. Okay? I'm going to cut some of the lighter part and some of the green part for garnish. Just like so. Green onions are absolutely amazing in ramen. You don't need too much. Just a little bit goes a long way. It's going to give you that great flavor. Okay? That's all I'll need of the light part. And then we can go in and slice up the green, the darker part, for garnish. Beautiful. That's all I'll need. Okay, and I'm just putting this on a plate beside me. And now, as far as our bok choy, our bok choy will not be stir-fried. What I like to do is I like to put it into a hot broth. Then I'm going to show you how to make this broth. is amazing. And that's when you'll see me um, incorporate those ramen noodle packets into the broth that I show you how to make. Okay? So here's what we're gonna do. When I have bok choy, I like to eat the white part and the green part as well. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, nice size pieces, beautiful. Just like so. It's really gonna make that uh, ramen noodle broth amazing. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set this aside. This will not get wasted. This will be used for a salad topper, okay? And sometimes I use this to make lo mein, okay? So this will go into a freezer bag or a Ziploc bag and I'll just write on it what it'll be used for. Okay, we don't waste anything here at the Young's house. Now, what I like to do is I'm going to take these noodles out. These are amazing noodles. These are the noodles that I prefer to use versus the noodles that are in the package. I just, for some reason, I just feel like these are the best noodles. Okay, so we want to take our noodles out of the styrofoam. You can cut this open and take your noodles out or sometimes you can just flip it over and the noodles will pop right out. I'll turn this one over and see if it pops out very easily for me. Just like so, pretty simple, right? And all of those goodness, that seasoning and everything, I usually keep it. Extra flavor. I have another ingredient I almost forgot to mention. I boiled two eggs. Now, a lot of people, when they have a ramen, do, uh, a ramen noodle dish, they like to boil their egg to where their yolk is barely set. I'm really not that person. I want for my yolk to be all the way done inside. And so that's what I've done. I like to put two full eggs into my ramen. It really brings out amazing flavor when you taste that egg and those noodles together it's a perfect match okay everyone now i want to show you how to make this amazing broth that is so delicious oh the broth alone you can just drink it by itself it's so beautiful so we have our chicken broth any type of broth you'd like to use okay i want to mix this up very well beautiful now, we want to put some soy sauce in. It's really up to your discretion how much of the ingredients that you decide to use. Okay, keep in mind that we have a nice amount of chicken broth there that we want to season. I'm gonna go in with some sofrito, not too much, just like so. That's gonna give amazing flavor. We're gonna put our fish sauce in. Fish sauce is gonna give you such a beautiful flavor. It's used in 90% of Asian cooking. That's our sesame oil. Just a little tiny bit, not too much. This right here is the fish sauce. Nice amount of it. Beautiful. And then we're gonna go in with our um, our shrimp ramen noodle packets. Just like so. And I'm gonna use all three. This smells so good. Oh, 
I cannot wait to taste it. As soon as it starts to come to a slight boil, we'll give it a taste and we'll see if it needs any more flavor. You always wanna taste everything to see what it tastes like so you can know whether your sauce or whatever you're making needs more flavor. It smells absolutely amazing right now. Let's get this on the burner and we're gonna turn it onto a little bit over low. So just about medium, but not medium. Okay, everyone, so you can see that I have three pans on the stove. We have our Spam, our beautiful shrimp, and our beautiful mushrooms. And honestly, you can use chicken breast if you like, any type of meat you wanted to use. If you have leftover pork chops, you can use that. Okay, this here is the water that I'm going to boil, um, boil my noodles in. And this right here is that beautiful broth. Okay, so now we're waiting on our shrimp to start turning opaque in color, which is a pinkish color. And when you achieve that color, your shrimp is done. Once you get that color on both sides of your shrimp, you can take your shrimp out so that you don't overcook it. The last thing that anyone wants to eat is overcooked shrimp that tastes like rubber. <laughs> okay, and then our Spam is starting to brown up and get nice, beautiful, and golden brown as well as our mushrooms. Once everything's ready to turn over, I'll be right back. And now the noodles, the sauce is heating up. The noodles will be the last thing that we cook. We wanna prepare everything and then throw those noodles in last. Those noodles don't take any time to cook. So now it's time to go in and start turning some things over. Oh, look at this beautiful caramelization. That's what you're wanting. Take the time to get it nice, beautiful, and golden brown. And if you turn it over and it's not all the way there, we can always turn it back over, no worries. Beautiful. Let's turn our shrimp over. Nice. Oh, and they smell so good. Mm. These are gonna be just beautiful in our ramen. It's okay if everything mixes together, no worries. Oh yeah, woo, that smells good. My goodness, those shrimp, they're just about done. We're gonna take those out here in just a second. I do wanna get nice caramelization onto my mushrooms as well. Beautiful, look at that. Oh, woo, you better make you some. You better make you some. Make it this way, and then let me know what you think about Gina Young style ramen noodle soup. When over here at the Young's house, we just don't have regular ramen noodle soup with just water in it. We bump it up, Gina Young style, and it's so delicious. Oh, mm. Right here we have a few pieces of Spam that need to come out, because they're beautiful, look at that. Oh, we're just gonna set them on this pan here. And then we're gonna take all of our shrimp out because they're perfectly done. Whoo, just like so. Let's turn these over, take a peek in at them. Get those a little bit darker. Take all of these beautiful seasoned shrimp right out of the pan. Our mushrooms are just about done. I want those mushrooms nice, beautiful, and golden brown. Whew. Oh yeah. All right. The mushrooms are coming out. Oh, and they taste good. Whoo, they taste good. Our broth is nice and hot. It's just about time to put our noodles into our water. We'll do that as soon as we take these two last pieces of Spam out so that I don't have too many things to keep an eye on. Oh, beautiful. We're just about there. Okay, everyone, the noise that you're hearing is the vent that I have on. We're gonna put our noodles in to the boiling water, just like so. And I'll let you know exactly how long they took to cook. And right now, there's really no need to go in and mess with them. Once they start to break up a little bit, then you can move them around. But you don't want them to get mushy. And the way you can get them mushy is by cooking them too long. 
you always want to make sure that your water or your broth is fully boiling. Then you put your noodles in and your noodles don't take hardly any time to cook. Okay, I'm going to see if they're starting to fall apart. Just about, but not yet. Beautiful. You want these to remain nice and curly. Once they start losing their curl is when they start to get mushy, if that makes any sense. When they have their curl, they're still nice and chewy and al dente, and that's what you want in a noodle. You want it to be chewy to the tooth, nice and al dente. Once they lose, like I said, once they start to lose a lot of its curl, well then you have some mushy noodles, okay? Let's take a peek. Oh yeah, look at that, beautiful. Now you can touch them and they're pulling apart. Beautiful, just one nice tub will do the trick for each batch. Okay, I'm gonna let these cook for three minutes and that's it. You're gonna have that perfect noodle. Woo, and my house smells absolutely amazing. I've tasted the shrimp, look at that shrimp. I've tasted the mushrooms and I know the Spam tastes absolutely amazing. Let's set these aside over on the island with our other fresh ingredients. It's been three minutes, our noodles are perfectly done. Take them off of the burner, turn that burner off. And right here, we have our beautiful broth that has been simmering, it's nice and hot. Let's make our way over to the island. Let's make up a beautiful bowl of ramen. So right here, I have a beautiful medium sized bowl and I have my ramen noodles that I've drained, okay? Put those noodles in there just like so. And then we're gonna start to put our bok choy in. You wanna somewhat put your bok choy towards the bottom a little bit so that it can cook in that beautiful broth. I love bok choy, my goodness, bok choy is amazing. Okay, so now that we have our bok choy in, just like so. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to align that beautiful spam right into your noodles, just like so. I like to put three pieces over here. <laughs> oh yeah, and three pieces right here. I am so excited. We're gonna grab our mushrooms. I need to grab a spoon. Put those mushrooms on. Just pile them on where, where they fall. What, that's fine. Beautiful. And then we'll put our shrimp. Put some on this side. And some over here as well. They'll all get mixed in eventually. Beautiful. Oh, woo! Mm-hmm. Oh, these noodles right here are calling my name. They're saying, Gina, baby, come get me. Whoo, and I'm saying, I'm coming. I'm coming to get you. I'm going to tear this bowl up. You hear me? <laughs> I'm so serious. I am so serious. All right, there goes the light part of the scallions, and here's the dark green for beautiful garnish. And now you take that beautiful broth that you made and you just start pouring it in. And this is gonna make that bok choy taste absolutely amazing. Oh, look at this. Oh, that right there is heaven on earth. You hear me? Oh, it's so good. If you all enjoyed this recipe, Give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time Jeannie Young uploads one of these awesome recipes tell your family and friends and everybody you know all about Gina Young and what I'm doing in this kitchen on a daily basis oh absolutely look at this my goodness Woo, you better make you some. Look at that. Oh, I'm going to give the bok choy at least, you know, three to five minutes to get nice and wilted. Oh, look at that. Perfect noodles. Look at this. Mm, mm, mm. I have some jasmine green tea that's unsweetened. That's what I'm drinking right here. Look at this beautiful bowl. Oh, and it was so simple to make. 
Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we want to thank you for this beautiful meal. Lord, we thank you for your love, time, your mercy, and your understanding. Please forgive us for our sins. Come into our hearts. We make you our Lord and Savior. Send your angels down to surround us day and night and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. We pray that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. We bind the devil away from us in the name of Jesus. Devil, you have no authority over us in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, you hold the hearts of all kings and authorities. You hold their heart in your hand and you turn it like a water course. Send your angels down to surround us, your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Once again, peace over our mind. Lord, we thank you for the roof over our head, the food, the love, the peace and the joy that you bring us daily. We thank you for that. Amen. Let's dive in. I'm going to give you all that first bite. Be ready. I hope you are ready. Oh, I hope you're ready. So here's what we're going to do. Let's take a piece of that spam. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. We're going to take a piece of that spam. We're going to take some of that shrimp and some of these beautiful noodles. Oh, yeah. We're going to try to get a bite of all of this goodness. <laughs> Ooh, that bok choy. All in one bite. Hopefully we can. Look at that. Oh, ooh -wee. my goodness. Get on there. Come on, I want a bite full of everything. Look at this. Let's try this. Let me know what you think. Mm. Oh, I can't wait. Like, my mouth is watering. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. 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 Oh, it's so good. That really right there. Is some of the best ramen you ever want to taste. Take that time out. Put extra ingredients in it. You are going to really love it. You're, this is when you're going to really be able to enjoy ramen as it should be made. Mm, mm -mm. Oh, it's just so delectable. Mm. Take a bite of that egg. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mm. And the noodles are seasoned just perfectly. Oh, they're so good. Mm, mm, mm. 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 Mm, mm, mm. Mm. When I tell you all this is delectable, mm, mm, mm. trust me when I tell you. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, this ramen couldn't be more beautiful. Mm. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Good night.